If you guys don't remember, last year, Casey Neistat premiered a documentary that he had been working on for several years at the film festival South by Southwest. The documentary covered David Dobrik's career and leading up to the premiere of the film, Casey had said absolutely nothing about it. The thing is, Casey had been working on this documentary for years, with the original intent going in being to show David as this superstar YouTuber reaching true celebrity. It was supposed to be more of a celebration of his career, but things obviously took a turn once things were revealed about the vlog squad that David had created. There was the insider article that had come out, and following that, we later learned about what happened to Jeff. Casey ended up changing the direction of his documentary because of everything that had come out. Casey didn't want to be involved in any drama, so he didn't really promote the film. I believe he did like one interview at South by Southwest and that was it. And the reason we even really knew that the film was coming out was because a week prior to its premiere at South by Southwest, Jeff had started opening up about what really went down with David and David not being there for him after the accident. And he basically decided to not sugarcoat anything anymore about what was going on behind the scenes. And the reason why he chose to open up was because he revealed that Casey had been working on this documentary coming out and Casey warned Jeff that in the documentary, David is blaming Jeff for the accident. Once Jeff called out David, that's when David, Jason, and Natalie sat down in the View studio to talk about Jeff's accident. And so Casey chose to keep quiet during the premiere, I think just to avoid being involved any further. But the film was never released to the public. It was only shown at South by Southwest. And I did get to see it. And the way that it ended was with David coming back to YouTube after everything and it being well received. In David's return at the time, Jeff was featured in that video, so it seemed all was well in the end for David, but almost in kind of like an eerie way where it felt like it didn't really seem like a good idea, but he was going to do it anyway. And obviously so much has changed since then, but Casey is now talking about why this wasn't put out publicly, saying that they just haven't found the right home for this documentary and that's why it hasn't come out yet. You do not want to. I mean, we don't have to put. That no, in. we like we t the nut of it is like I still haven't released it, and I feel weird about having not released it. Yeah, I could if I wanted to put it on my YouTube channel, but like we had distribution opportunities that were really exciting and they kind of all fell through for circumstantial reasons. I wonder why it hasn't worked out with the streaming platforms, whether David could sue or what, but I know a lot of people do want to still see what was said in it and how Casey covered the story of David's career. And Casey talked about how he went into filming the documentary and how the final product was just nothing like what he went into it thinking it was going to be. And he had to change directions and it was really tough for him. I think for me, and I know it's it, your relationship with the whole story is very different. It's a movie I made about David Dobrik. It was initially a story about how David really is just this superstar who came from nothing and became the star. And I wanted to tell that story. Um, and then it ended up becoming the story about that article that came out that just torpedoed his career. Mm -hmm. It was difficult for me because I had a really, like I really loved David. I yeah. still do. And I did then, and he was a wonderful friend. And the idea of making a video celebrating your friend's success is really exciting. But then when everything goes sideways, I still felt like, I don't know, journalistic, I don't know, I felt a responsibility to see the movie through, but the story had changed. Casey says that he felt a responsibility when making this David Dobrik documentary to get the story right and try to tell the truth of what happened. He says he tried to pull himself out of it and just ask the hard questions to everyone. And in the end, it did end his friendship with David as they didn't speak after filming was done. But I just tried to tell the truth of what transpired. And I know that that was very, the fact that I did that was very challenging for him to confront, um, which I understand. And like it, you know, had huge impact on our friendship. We don't, we don't speak anymore and that's, I, I understand that, I expected that, but it still, it makes me feel weird. I've never had a person in my life that I've cared about or known as well as him that has, you know, kind of divorced me like that. Yeah. Um, not that I'm a victim. I was the one who chose to make the movie. I, yeah. I, Jeff says that when he watched it, he could tell Casey wasn't trying to ruin David. And as someone who did watch it, I think Casey really told the story of David's career, the super high highs when people loved him, why they loved him, to the Insider article coming out, and then information about Jeff's accident coming out and David being looked at differently. I think Casey told the truth of what happened and 
wasn't trying to sway people to think of David any certain way. I think he just hit record and what unfolded did. And Casey said that he really wanted everyone to speak for themselves in this and not tell anyone how to feel, but he felt this obligation to get the story right. You know, I get it. I'd push back at that, which is just like, I tried to let David speak for David. Mm -hmm. I tried to let the journalist who wrote the story speak for her and speak for her story. Um, and I worked hard, I worked my, my hardest to make sure it wasn't me telling anyone else's story. It was everybody yeah. telling the story for themselves. And that includes you. And I think like the, the, the hard parts of the movie, the fact that it's not been released, the hardest parts for me are that the victim, this young woman that the story is about, um, who, was, who was assaulted in one of David's videos by Dom, not by David. David was not involved in what, what transpired um, besides making, making the video that en enabled it. Um, uh, you know, I felt an obligation to her and I feel an obligation to her as the victim. I feel an obligation to you um, because you were so honest and, and forthright with me about what was going on then. Uh, I feel an obligation to David. Casey and Jeff talk about how they both went into making a documentary with two very different visions. Casey wanted to make a documentary about David's crazy internet fame turned celebrity and Jeff wanted to make a skydiving documentary but yet they both ended up making documentaries about David and the things that turned his whole career around. David was at the center of all the work that he made and like his work was so brilliant. Um, problematic, sure, but brilliant. Yeah. And being along and getting to witness that ride. We went to Miami and had all those supercars. Oh we, yeah. You know, like the, the need thing for here, speed, in, yeah. yeah, the thing here in New York City. I, I accompanied him on a press tour when he was on that show, America's Next Top Something 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 Talent. Like seeing what what true celebrity can look like via social media. And that was the initial, the original intent of the movie was just to tell that story solely. Mm -hmm. um, but just to witness that and then to have that captured on film. What a wild time yeah my what thing was, I, I was trying to make a skydiving documentary oh, this is a documentary about me getting my skydiving license yeah, i didn't expect it to be like a life-changing accident and all this sh and in terms of this documentary ever coming out casey says that he's not hiding it but he's waiting for the right platform to come along for the documentary to be on and he does not want this on his youtube channel i think the video of the movie will see the light of day sometime i'm not actively hiding it but i'm definitely using the fact that i haven't found what i feel like is the appropriate or most appropriate venue for distribution which i don't feel like is my youtube channel um I is it done it's is, done. is there yeah, a, is there a done. chance of continuation no i look whenever i find whenever that distribution opportunity presents itself would you make um, it a saga go on for <laughs> 30 years <laughs> no i think that it would the, you know the last minute or two might need a change certainly when i finished the movie was when he decided to continue his vlogs and so much has transpired in his career but i don't think any anything besides like a text card at the end just like a an epilogue card just go into the snapchat error is that not a <laughs> no i think it would just be something like this is what happened you know in the years following the snapchat only fans era of the vlog squad <laughs> Casey went on to talk about how people are craving realness and honesty and vulnerability. And it's why podcasts are so big because you have no choice but to be yourself when there's a camera rolling for a couple hours and you're just talking. There's not much editing or relying on cool edits. People are going to see the real you. And he said that it's what got Jeff out of this character that people thought that he was in these David vlogs and that character that David made for himself in his videos was pretty much his downfall because people didn't know him at the end of the day when everything was coming out about him. What does it mean to be a character? Meaning that you played a character in David's videos. The mm -hmm. world knew you as a character, not the real Jeff, but a character of Jeff. I think the world knew David, not as the real David, but a character of himself. And I think that was a liability for him. Yeah. When some negative stuff came up, they didn't know how to judge him because they only knew this character version of him. We spoke about that a lot. Something that I did find interesting that I did not know about before was that Jeff, when he was talking about how he went on Frenemies and was defending David in the interview that he says is the worst interview of his career, he ended up getting his podcast agency through that interview because his Jeff FM set was behind him. And I just thought that that was just so crazy that you know one of his worst interviews ended up being this amazing thing for him and it really is just so crazy how everything ended up for everyone and how so much has changed 
I hope that the documentary is able to find a home soon so everyone can see it and we can talk about it some more because I know only a few a number of people got to see it but I will let you guys know if any news comes out about the documentary let me know what you guys think about Casey finally coming out to discuss it in the comments I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video bye guys Thank <laughs> you.